During his visit to Fort Worth just a short time ago, President Joe Biden urged the nation's veterans to sign up for health care and the, uh, the, what they need and deserve, of course, for their service. His visit to Fort Worth is part of his unity agenda that was unveiled a week ago during the State of the Union address. Political reporter Jack Fink, live for you at the Resource Connection of Tarrant County, where the president spoke a little over an hour ago. Jack, take us inside what he had to say. Well, Doug, President Joe Biden said that all Americans must rally around veterans, including the 1.4 million who call Texas home, and said that they shouldn't feel ashamed about asking for the health care that they need. He calls his program Building a Better America. President Biden's first stop in Fort Worth was the nearby VA clinic, where he met with veterans and their caregivers. He says it's important to increase access to health care and benefits for veterans who were exposed to burn pits while serving in Afghanistan and Iraq. The burn pits are open areas the military uses to burn and dispose of chemicals, paints, petroleum products, and metals. And experts say that process emits toxic substances, which can lead to long term health problems. The president also discussed a new proposed rule that would add rare cancers to a list of those considered service connected. He said when those in the military return home, they should be cared for by their country. They shouldn't have to ask for a damn thing. It shouldn't be, can you help me? It's, I've got a problem, and we should say, how can we help? I hope that hearing, uh, hearing you will, uh, will inspire more veterans to do exactly what you're doing. Sign up. Sign up for the benefits and support you have earned. A bipartisan group of members of Congress traveled with President Biden, Republican Jake Elsey of Waxahachie, along with Democrats Colin Allred of Dallas and Mark Vesey of Fort Worth. During his speech, the president remained focused on veterans and did not mention the other big news of the day, his decision to ban imports of Russian oil and petroleum products. But after he landed in Fort Worth, he was asked about the record high gas prices Americans are paying. It's going to go up. Right now, Russia's responsible. And AAA says just in the past week, gas prices have risen 55 cents to the new national average of $4.17 a gallon. There may be unity around veterans, but that's certainly not the case about U.S. energy policy. Live in Fort Worth, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News. Jack Fink, thank you so much.